Friends, welcome back to the Dragon Tamer series. Our hero Lu Fan wakes up late. He had watched this on his mobile the night before, and then he thinks to himself that putting me and Chan Gan together is absolute nonsense. Looking at this, it seems to lack credibility. And then he looks at his phone and thinks, and yet they call themselves a reputable media outlet. Lu Fan looks at his mobile and sees Secure Nation's Mushashi 10 and he is convinced that this is definitely worth being careful with. The next morning, the national trials begin with everyone standing in their place. It is announced that this year's national trials organized by Tai Kai Nation are now starting. Everyone was getting very excited to watch it. And then it is told that now the time has come for which we were waiting so eagerly. And then it is told that everyone should look up to the sky. Lu Fan also looks up to the sky. A blue color appears above like a tornado, in which some things are shining. And it is told that this is the portal of the secret area. It has officially opened. Now everyone will enter it. Everyone starts going towards that portal together. Here Lu Fan was standing at his place, and he says that everything is ready. And then he thinks to himself, if possible, teleport me near the peak. Lu Fan confidently enters the portal and says, Let's enter the National Testing Secret Area. On the other hand, Lu Fan's teammates are sitting in their room in Villa Number 2. But Sister Han and Jian Ying look worried. And here Captain Lai Chen Kong and Song are watching the screen. And they are happy. Because Lu Fan saved everyone's lives. On the other hand, Uncle Tu is also watching on his system. Vice Principal Zhao and Overseer Sir all were watching on their screens. And then it is announced that as soon as the last participant enters the secret area, the scoring will start immediately, and the ranking of the participants will be determined based on their scores. And in the end, only the rank 1 participant will be declared the winner. Then it is announced that all the representatives have entered the secret area and who will be on ranking 1. Let's wait for it. As soon as Lu Fan enters the secret area, he closes one eye and looks to the other side. As he looks around, he recognizes the area. Lu Fan looks around carefully. He thinks to himself, I know this area very well. I've been here before with Uncle Tu. This is a map of the far north. The national testing secret area is the ice field. And then he takes out his watch to look at the map. And then he thinks to himself, Based on this map, I am right in the middle of the ice field. And the fact that the rank has not been updated means that no one has scored any points yet. And then he looks to the other side at the same time and becomes serious, and says, There is a task point in the corner below the ice field map. And that's right, this will be my first target. And with this bracelet, all the representatives can see the real-time ranking and the number of survivors. Anyone with a high score will naturally become an attractive target for others. Lu Fan immediately springs into action and smiles as he extends his hands. Lu Fan says this rule is very simple, and I like it. A strong aura appears in his hands. And then he orders Star Dragon and Zio Jai to come out at the same time. Star Dragon comes out immediately. And Zio Jai comes out and roars. As announced, we have to work in a team. Lu Fan takes out his two dragons and asks them what they think about forming a team with Star Dragon and Zio Jai. Star Dragon immediately comes and sits on Lu Fan's shoulder. Lu Fan is tickled to see this. And he says this little braggart never listens to me. Lu Fan immediately rides Zio Jai and sits on top of him. And he says, Come on Zio Jai, it's time to go out and explore the dark peak. Zio Jai roars and flies away. Meanwhile, Chengen is walking around in the desert of the National Testing Secret Area. And then he says, Hey, I'm back in that familiar vast desert area again. And then he raises his hand at the same time. And with his power, he summons his beasts, which looked like his mouth. The main power of this skill is fragmented ambush, which separates pieces like the Abyss Beast Prison, and can hide them in specified locations. Each piece provides an Abyss symbiosis effect. Then heads resembling him start walking on the ground with tiny legs, and the system appears, because the Abyss symbiosis is its main power. As long as the Abyss Summon Beast is alive, the user will permanently share its symbiosis. And after death, the user can revive inside the Abyss Summon Beast. The initial waste is 15 two bells. The waste doubles for each subsequent resurrection. 
And then Cheng Zong looks at the desert and thinks to himself. Including the Abyss Entangler, I have nine chances of resurrection. And he starts laughing. Seeing this, he starts laughing and says that I am practically immortal. Then suddenly a sword comes, which penetrates the head of the animal he summoned. And then he raises his sword, and he says that it is too bad now you only have eight chances left. Actually, the name of this person is Musashi Ten, who is the representative of Secure Nation. Seeing this, Chen Zong gets very angry and asks Musashi Ten, Why did you kill the animal I summoned? Are we not friends? The system shows that the name is Musa, Nationality 10, Sakara Nationality, and Level 61, Class Demon, Demon Samurai. And then he sheaths his sword at the same time and says, Calm down. We are still allies. I just wanted to see if killing your summoned beast gives you points. Chen Gan scoffs at this and points his finger at him and says, If you want points, kill Lu Fan. I lost a chance because of your check. And we agreed on this before the match. And you know that killing my summoned beast will reduce my chances of being revived? And then he raises his hand at the same time and says, You still have eight lives left, so why are you getting so upset? Okay, I'll give you some boss. How about it? Hearing this, Chan John calms down a bit and says, I don't have time to argue with you. Move aside and move forward. And then they both start moving forward together. Musi says, don't leave me behind. I'm also walking with you. Giant has managed to teleport me to you right under the overseer's nose. And he has been teleported to you secretly so you better protect your ally. After hearing this, Chan John says, shut up and keep quiet so that the overseer can't hear. And then he says the alliance is made as per the committee. And as for Lu Fan, I will deal with Lu Fan and you take care of the Black Dragon. And also, I can tell you about the part that Jin Jainan left out when he introduced the Dark Spire. When Dark Spire moves randomly on the map, if it recognizes a participant, it starts attacking actively. Musosi is surprised to hear this and says, Why didn't you mention this before? No wonder you have so many opportunities to resurrect. Musosi angrily says, If I face the demon peak of nine people, you can be resurrected, but what about me, brother? Chan Gan looks at him at the same time and raises his hand. A purple aura appears in his hand. And he says that since we are allies, I will naturally protect your life. And then he attacks him with his power at the same time. Musasi is surprised to see this. But it has no effect on him, and he says, Hey, what is this? Chan Gan tells. Don't ignore this, it's a bottomless contract. A strong aura appears around him. Then suddenly he starts screaming badly. He has to face a lot of pain. And then he tells that. From now on you can be resurrected from within the animal that I summon after your death. And you. You and I are now successfully bound by the ABC contract. And of course if I die, you must die too. Chan Gan ignores him and walks away. Mousy says to Chen Kang, you are talking about forming an alliance, but it seems you are still not talking to me from the heart, and are being cautious with me. I want to tell you not to worry. I will not stab you in the back. Chen Gan replies as he walks away. Hey fool, don't think too much. Cooperating with the Taiki country is the right choice. That's why you are extending a hand of alliance to me. But remember, when the country's trial is over, I will end the Abyss Treaty. Musashi is surprised to hear this, and then he says, hey, wait for me, and let's go find Lu Fan together. Chen Guan replies, no, first we have to start the mission to get the points, and wait until the nine-man demon almost kills the other delegates, then start the plan. Because Chen Guan plans to kill all the delegates when the nine-man demon kills all the delegates, he will have to work less hard. While walking, Musasi notices the mission point, and then he asks Chengen, if you accept a mission, isn't it a mission point? Cheng Gan turns back and replies that it is a trap mission. Jin Zhen has a location line on every map. And once you accept a mission, you cannot accept any other task. Hearing this, Musasi glares at him and says, What exactly is a trap mission? Chen Gan looks at him with murderous eyes and says, You will know soon. Because it is impossible for anyone to complete such a task. Almost five hours have passed. Everyone starts discussing among themselves while watching the screen. The vice principal explains that the three royal families of the nation trials have been eliminated. 
and then his eyes fall on Lu Fan, and he says they are Dragon Kingdom, Star Spangled, and Snow Kingdom. They are the top three in every competition, and their rank is 23. Lu Fan is from the Dragon Kingdom, and his total marks are 257. The person standing in front is ranking Lu Fan based on his marks and says, Actually, what happened this year that people are surprised that Lu Fan has been included in the nation trials? Those who had high expectations for Lu Fan were shocked when they saw this and began discussing amongst themselves that it was really strange that Lu Fan, the Dragon Kingdom's representative, hadn't yet earned any points for all that he had done. Hearing his words, the man starts glaring at him. Meanwhile, Lu Fan has been wandering around the secret area for a while and turns on his watch and sees that he still has 257 points. He gets worried and says, Hey, where is this peak of darkness now? After searching for so long, I haven't even seen its shadow. As he says this, a lion-like monster suddenly appears in front of him. The system shows that it is known as the Treasure Flying Line, and it is level 60. Killing it will give you more points. Suddenly, this monster attacks Zio Jai. Zio Jai defends herself by moving backwards and escapes the attack. Lu Fan looks at the monster and thinks to himself, Treasure following is much weaker than the zombies that fell in the clouds. And the secret area only costs dozens of points, so there is no need to waste time. Our hero Lu Fan now understands that to get high points, I must accept the mission and defeat the boss. And then he grabs Zyoji's reins at the same time and orders Zyoji that we have reached the mission point. Look down and walk downwards. On the other side, this guy is fighting with a snow bear and then he knocks the snow bear to the ground in one single blow and kills it. And he sees a cave nearby and then he decides to go to that cave and says that it is really difficult without the third turn. And then he starts entering the cave and says, but finally I got this mission. Then suddenly he hears someone coming and then he turns back. Geo Jai is standing in front of him. And then this person immediately springs into action. Lu Fan immediately gets down from Jio Jai. This person looks at Lu Fan and says, Hey, this is a huge dragon. And then he looks at Lu Fan and asks Lu Fan, You are Liu Fan from the Dragon Kingdom, right? Lu Fan does not answer. He immediately opens his watch and looks in the system. This man is known as Yasun Rai and his nationality is Tropical Kontrai. And his level is 45. Profession is Water Wave Swordsman Roman 2 and score is 5 then 153. Rank is 19. Lu Fan looks at him with a smile and turns off the system. This man immediately moves into action upon seeing Lu Fan and takes out his sword. Lu Fan does not react to him and walks past him ignoring him. Seeing Lu Fan, he thinks to himself what an arrogant man this is. He didn't even reply to my words. And then he looks at his watch. He thinks to himself, Tu Jing of the Dragon Empire once insulted the king of the Southern Empire, and the Southern Empire almost collapsed. If I can kill Lu Fan, then I will reach rank 23 and Lu Fan, who is at the bottom, is only at the 32nd level. This will be a God-given opportunity for me. And then he plans to kill Lu Fan at the same time. And then he immediately takes his sword and attacks Lu Fan. As he approaches Lu Fan to attack him, he uses the power of the Luanshui cage, which shoots out water to form a cage, tightly trapping the target and leaving him unable to escape. And then he thinks he can defeat Lu Fan easily. He looks at Lu Fan and says, Hey Lu Fan, representative of the Dragon Kingdom, do you want to take advantage of me by watching me fight? Lu Fan does not react to his words. Then he looks at Lu Fan and says, Hey, he is so naive. Then suddenly Zio Jai attacks him with her claws. In one blow, he falls down. The bone in his arm breaks. He gets very angry seeing this and says that it is very big. And this is the real strength of the dragon. And it seems that my bone is also broken. Lu Fan comes close to him. Lu Fan puts his hand in that light and says, Hey, if you are thinking about the profit of a fisherman, then you are thinking too much. And then he says with a smile, Your more than 5,000 points are not enough for me to think. So I decided to let you go. That's why I didn't harm you. Because the points I will get after killing you are not enough for me either. He is stunned to hear this. The ground slips from under his feet, and he says my control skill is really invalid. This is impossible. 
He's only 32 level and how is he so powerful? And then his mind thinks let me go. If I don't get honors in this national exam, I will practice again and again. And as long as I kill the representative of the Dragon Empire, I will remain the hero of the Southern Empire. As soon as he says this, Jai Jai roars in front of him. He is very shocked to see this and falls backwards. Jai Jai gets very close to him. Flames start coming out of his mouth. The man was so scared that he thinks I will die here now. Lu Fan looks at him with a smile and says I advise you not to rush. This is my job, no problem. At the same time, Lu Fan opens his system and says mission received. The current task is to defeat the epic boss. And the dust demon in the land of No Loco is level 85. Friends, this chapter ends here. To see what happens next, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can be the first to watch the video.